what's cooking sous chefs it's captured here and my channel's been in a coma for a really long time like i haven't made any content so but so what better way to get back in into the groove of things than to make some rice crispy treats all right let's get started all right First thing you're going to want is you're going to want your pot. Pop. Now, you're going to take three tablespoons of butter. Just throw that in there. Turn on the heat. Wait for it to melt. Alright, once it's started to melt, you're going to want to take your spoon. This is my, my favorite spoon. You're just going to I'm gonna mix it around so it gets gets everywhere, even on the sides. So it doesn't. Ow! 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 Butterbur. Let's try again. Let's try again. I'm gonna move it slowly around the sides so it gets it's everywhere. All right, now once your butter is completely melted, uh, we gotta, we gotta throw in the marshmallows, you know? So, I, I don't need directions, I, I'm the king. Everyone knows that. So, I'm just gonna, I, I'm gonna see, I'm just gonna throw in some, like I think I want. Whatever. Uh, Throw in, throw in some marshmallows. That should be good. Yeah. And then we're gonna we're gonna take our spoon again. We're gonna mix it until it's completely melted. Completely melted. Now you want to make sure that you, you just keep mixing it. Maybe even. Chop up the big ones. Yeah. You just want it a, a melty, buttery, goodness substance. Now I see why they wanted to add all the butter. You see, you see all the stuff getting up on the sides? See, that's why you want to put the butter on the sides. See? See, see, I'm right. Wow, shocker. Sean gets it right. Okay, when you're making this at home, I, I advise using just one type of marshmallow and not the big and the small ones, because then you just got these clumps of marshmallow that haven't that haven't fully you know, melted yet with, and we're going to turn off the heat, with, you know, mixing with these, these marshmallows that are burning, like, I bet it's still going to be good, but it's, it's not as good as it could have been, you know. Yeah, okay, so that look, that looks good. Now, now, uh, since we've taken it off the heat, we're just going to leave the spoon on top right here. I'm gonna get the marshmallow. Uh, the, no, not the. Oh no. Okay. The Rice Krispies. And it says just to, to pour some in. Six cups of this stuff? What? Whatever. Alright, let's just. Let's just. Pour some in. One cup, two cup, three cups, four cups, five, five cups, six, six, six cups. Jeez, I can't even see the marshmallows anymore. Like, what is this? Alright, so it's just a mix until evenly dispersed. Woohoo. 
I think it could have used a little more marshmallow. But you know, we're not we're not done yet, so I can't make a final verdict. <sighs> yep, no one is water water in there. Uh let's see. Uh using butter spatula or wax. Paper evenly pressed. What? What does that mean? Evenly pressed. Over what? Want me to just... Just evenly press? I don't know, it looks like a spider web. Got... Like too many spiders are living in this pot. Ooh. Hopefully it tastes good. Alright, you know what whatever. I'm just gonna get one of those those pans that you usually put rice crispy treats in. We're gonna put it all in there and then we're gonna let it cool and, and we'll see how it turns out. This thing. Now I'm gonna move this over here and just kind of scoop and dump. Alright, this may take a while. Give me a moment. Alright, I scraped as much as I possibly could from the pot. This is all it came out with. I'm disappointed. Kellogg's, please sponsor me. Anyway, we're, we're gonna leave that aside and we'll wash it out later. Let's go back to the island and review. Go out to cringe level. All right, now that we've finished making our rice crispy blobs, let let's dig in. Stayed intact, not. All right. Now, let's try it. Hey, that's not that bad. That's good. That's really good. I love this recipe. It was a little concerning over on the stove, but you know if you're making, if your kids are not acting good and you, uh, or if they're acting really good and you want to give them a treat, you know, make these. They're really, really quick, uh, easy, easy to make. Uh, not, not very expensive. Don't go out and buy those pre-packaged ones. No, just stay at home. Make it yourself. You're, you're good.
That, that's all I gotta say. Two thumbs up. Keep on cooking, chefs. Bye. Yo, what are you still doing here? Do you want some? Sure, here. Just, just take a bite, just take a bite. Just take a bite. Take a bite!